Okay. I wrote it out. Here's a copy of what I sent them. Okay. Handed in there because the last time they got upset because the first time I came there, I gave them information about how the current county attorney from Douglas County had it sent me a weapon in the Todd County Jail, which is a felony, five years in prison, and they said they're going to look into it. Well, the second time I go there, they don't want to talk to me. Okay. All right. See, that's where they're they're hiding. I just got the picture here. See, here's a county attorney. He sees me. All of a sudden, he puts the paper in front of his face and he runs away. Okay. All right. See, so that's the thing. I brought them very embarrassing information about a county attorney who's engaging in a felony, a law enforcement <laughs> officer who's not officially a law enforcement officer according to the county recorder's <laughs> records. Okay. Okay. And I'm trying to find out about some some uh, activity which we believe is illegal by this clerk getting twice as much pay as anyone else okay, okay. but so you would like somebody to do a story on this well I would think that would be pretty interesting okay you know I mean that's up to you whether you want okay. to or not but I Let would think that, that you know you're the fourth pillar of government and you're supposed to keep an eye on these people okay so let me see who we would have that can cover that. Oh, we'll go to Karen mm -hmm. Petrie. She covers criminal. Okay. I have my paper from home. with the document what's going on there okay so the reason for my mission today is to help out Dave Jaros here mm -hmm. okay okay because you know like I said I am I'm the guy who's not scared to go up and and confront these people okay see so that's why that they send the cops after me I whoops I've had a SWAT team sent after me I'm not intimidated by these cops okay. see so that's the thing he doesn't know how to to protect his rights, I do. Okay. See, because I've studied a little bit. I've, I felt like I said, I filed criminal complaints against county attorneys. I filed criminal complaints against judges, sheriff. Okay? okay, they're all up on my YouTube channel. That, that you have a right to a trial. Well, the thing is, I think if you look at this mortgage in a criminal case. No, in any case. The the reality is, you have all these banks that are getting away with murder, and no one wants to do anything about it. Dave is trying to set the record straight by doing something. Okay. See, all he did was go there and ask some simple questions like, boy, do you have your paperwork in, in order, Sheriff? Okay. And they got all upset. So your issue isn't with, essentially, that they illegally foreclosed on you. Well, your that's what we're trying to find out. Because well, we're then we went to, to the, we brought this information. This is what I dropped off at the okay. county attorney's office. Went up there. Boy, they were really nice today. Okay, May 31st, Stearns County, Minnesota. Went to customer service desk number two to ask for verification of Minnesota statute 387.14 deputies for a Lieutenant John F. Lentz. The female, 5'9", medium build, 40 50 years of age, searched the records and found no record for Lentz in violation of Minnesota statutes 387.14. Signed Terry D. Nemers, 20179, County Road, Minnesota, Glendon, Minnesota 56334. Okay? okay, because the last time I was there, they said, "Oh, you have to put everything in writing." Well, I did. Now I have an official complaint filed with the county attorney, okay. who isn't a law enforcement officer, pursuant to prosecution principles, which I have in my little box of evidence there. All right. Okay. So, and then we went down to the, talk to the chief deputy because we asked. There happened to be some of those. Um, another, I think, it was a captain by the bars there was wandering around. They looked in. Dave said that they looked into the uh, auditor's office. While we were there, you know, trying to see if we, if you know, they could come in and swarm on us, but uh, so I looked out the the door there and I said, "Come on in, come on in." They didn't want anything to do with us. So, okay. so anyhow, then we went over to the sheriff's, the chief deputy, Bookholtz or whatever his name is, and uh, brought this information to him about Lance. And of course, he insisted that he was a officer. And I said, "Well, sure, he's got a badge and a gun and whatever, but pursuant to the law, I guess he's not." See. So the thing is, you can have all the appearance you want. You can have the appearance that Dave's not following, you know, because he's booted out. He looks like the bad guy. Mm -hmm. 
But the reality is, who's not following the law? See? Dave didn't swear an oath. Sheriff swore an oath. The deputy swore an oath. Or at least the, they allegedly did, because we went to the county recorder's office and can't find an oath for the okay. for so the lens. Essentially, what's your long-term hope? What What's the long-term outcome you want of this? Do you want your house back? Do you want... What well, do you want? well, no, they, what we want is justice, they, is what yeah, we want. we want justice. I want to know if, what Dave yeah. if they, if they If they took it unlawfully, in other words, if if a sheriff went in there and took my house away, when he isn't legally a sheriff, he's impersonating a, sher a sheriff's deputy, when he's in there impersonating me and throwing me off my property when I'm still in my property, okay? okay but you're not sure then, if it's illegal or not. Well, well we already we, have verification we from verification the... We got it on videotape. They totally ignored us. They would not come out. They would not give us any any documents. They would not give us nothing. Okay. So, have you filed a request in writing? We have I mean, filed a, a request, request in, writing. in writing for that information. We have filed for a request in writing. The information about the various people. The ver well, we just went in there. To, he had been went in there one day without a camera and asked them. Mm -hmm. Today we went in there. But and, you asked them orally, not. not yeah. Uh, no. We, we no. Have, we well, have, I asked them videotaping. I have clear, precise, and unquestionable evidence that I asked. They searched, because we were sitting there watching her do it, and she gave a response. So I have clear, precise, and unquestionable evidence that would be stand up in any court of law. It doesn't need to be in writing. There's no law that says I have to put it in writing. It's not just what, what, what you can do. It's also what they do. They do not follow. They make a law or a, 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 a statute, yeah. and they do not follow it. So what, what do we have to let them... Let them you know, what can we do to let them follow? If we take it to a higher court, the higher court takes all of our monies, they take all of our monies, they take everything else from us, and they don't, and, and then nothing is done because they just follow what, what illegal system they're following. Were you represented by a lawyer, Dave? Did you no, have a lawyer? No, I, I didn't okay. have a lawyer. Okay. Do I have to have a lawyer? I don't know. I, I don't know. Lawfully, well, the, lawfully, lawfully I do not. The, the real question is, do you, you do, do you trust the system? I don't trust the system. See? So, in other the, words, the, you, the you wouldn't trust a lawyer to represent you because you know your case better than anyone else, correct? Right. right. Well, there you go. See? Because and the thing is, again, we go back to these pieces of paper here. If the sheriff refuses to put out a, a, a sworn statement that he has followed the law, that the bank has followed all the laws, they followed all their procedures, then I guess... Dave wouldn't have very much confidence in the whole system, would he? More trend kinds of things. So when, I'm sorry, I forgot your first Terry. Name. Terry. When Terry talks about, um, you know, the, the situation in Illinois and those sorts of things, if that kind of situation is happening here, it's possible we might be able to write about that. Um, mm -hmm. I just don't want people to think that we can suddenly get their house back for them. No, we we like didn't that. say that we you would. That. I, I'm just, thing, we just wanted to make sure that you knew you know. because you're the fourth pillar of government. So We're not a part of government. And don't yeah. ever no, no, no. assume that we are part of government. No, no, I didn't say you were official part of government. You're called the fourth pillar of government, I said. All right? Because you're supposed to be the watchdog of government yes. for the people. I never said you were an official, elected official. I mean, yeah. that would be insanity if I said that. Stand very separately. Yeah, I understand that. <laughs> I appreciate. I, I, yeah, I understand that. But see, that's I didn't create that the little saying. Someone else did. Probably a reporter. I don't know. See, that's that's what I'm getting at. See, so, but the reality is, we've run into roadblocks everywhere. So we're not really expecting you to do anything. We're just here to document that we've told you. Okay. Okay. So, like I said, you're supposed to be the fourth pillar of government. That's what you advertise as, or other people have advertised you as. Okay? So, we're just holding you up to see if you follow through. That's all. You can do that. Uh, I yeah. don't have any problem with that. There you go. I well, will I, tell you that if you misuse video of us yeah. that you take here, yeah. you will hear from our lawyers because we operate through lawyers. That's fine. I love lawyers. Anyway. <laughs> you'll love the ones from Washington. Good. Um, Washington. We are owned by Gannett Company. I'd love to have some major syndicate come after me. Not a syndicate, thank you. Um, but what I can, what I can tell you is that like I said, to be able we, to had, we have zero hope that you're, I mean, we don't believe that you're going to do anything to start with. See, so I mean, that's what we just, we just came in here to make sure we put it on the record that we were here. Okay. That's all. Okay. Because 
than to KSAX with the information. You know what that is? TV station? Mm -hmm. They didn't want to hear about it because I have information about a state senator driving around illegally and driver in transit plates. Okay. okay. Went to the Echo Press. They didn't want to hear about it. Either. Well, they were they were real accommodating. We'll, we'll look into it. They sound a lot like you. Did nothing. Okay. Pope County Tribune, they sounded the nicest. I mean, oh, yeah, that really sounds good. Really encouraging. And then did nothing. Okay. See? So I'm presuming, like, the track record is going to be a big goose egg on this one, too. Like I said, the only reason why we're here is just to document that we were here. Ah, oh, I see. Okay. See? You maybe should have declared that up front. <laughs> well, it's news. Oh, I see. See? Okay. So you have the option of reporting it or not reporting it. Of course, we have also the report, the option of telling everyone else that we were here and we did report it to you and you chose to do what? Nothing. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay. See, so... I'm not scared of lawyers. I've had lawyers threaten me all the time. I've had I've had cops threaten me. I was just threatened. I was just threatened. I was just threatened numerous times in your own county courthouse there, and it didn't phase me in the slightest. Okay. See, I'm not threatening you. I'm just telling you. Right, so you right, 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 right. See, I, and this is not me. Yeah, I don't do care. It. I don't care if it's you or some other attorney or whatever. The only reason why you brought it up was to to maybe not say it, but to imply it. See, no, I brought I'm it up not, so that you would not misuse video that you've yeah. been taking of me without asking. Oh, okay, fine. Since yeah. you didn't ask in the beginning whether yeah. you could take video of me, and you're in a private company taking video. Right. Okay? Right. Now, I just say that so that you know up front that in terms of a private business on private property, yeah. there are different issues than a county courthouse True. that is public property. True. So. And no one's told me not to record either. No one said you were recording. Oh, I told them immediately up front that I was recording. They, they did had not to. tell me when they when you called. <laughs> well, didn't they say, yeah. what are you doing? Oh, we're, we're recording. Okay. Yeah, see, there's no objection there. See, so I do say... But you didn't record them. You recorded me. Yeah. And you sat here with a, with a, a flip camera that you waved this direction and that direction as though you weren't recording. Boy, it seemed to me I was pointing at you the whole time. Well, I at got... the end you were pointing at me. In the beginning you were not pointing at me. Well, uh, so. I got the video to prove it, so. Okay, good. There you go. What you do with the video is something different. But... That's whatever I want to do with it. Yeah, it is. That's, That's true. right. But it's... remember, you're on private property. So. All you do is tell me to leave anytime you want. Well, I am telling you that it's the end of the day, and I have to. Well, that's fine. I'm I'm tired of being here myself. So <laughs> you want to? Did you want a copy of this? Um. I can make a copy of it, yeah. Well, it doesn't sound like you're too interested, so then... No, I can make... I, I don't understand this reference, Acts 529. We must obey God rather than men. It just happens to be part of my signature, oh, so... Okay. It's not like it, it's uh, it's uh, part of the case. Okay. Oh, okay. Just something that I put okay. on there because I choose to have it part of my signature. Okay, that's fine. Let me make it... I will make a copy of it. Okay. Um, well, the thing is, if they can't produce the note, then where's the note? That's the reality of it. See, they can claim that they have it in their possession. They're supposed to produce the note for when they the. Show up at your door. Uh, well, when the I, court. When I ask for it, when I yeah. ask for it, the sheriff court, can't. I... The sheriff can't touch your house unless he's got the note to to verify to that verify. that they have an authority to sue. Okay. The See, that's the, why there's a chain of assignments. And have you seen your file? You the, know it's not the in the file. Wedding signature. In other words, the oil, the yeah. original wedding signature. They don't have it. <laughs> Oh, my God.